This is, this is incredibly exciting stuff, and as somebody who tore their ACL three years ago, yeah. seeing this and how it could have potentially, you know, altered my surgery is very neat. But we're not talking ACLs, we're talking knee replacements, Knee right? replacement surgery, right. Total knee replacements. Right. And, and what you are wearing on your head right now right. is actually being displayed on the screen behind us. Correct. Yeah, so it's a camera. Yeah. Right? So we can see. And then it projects angles and alignment and so forth, yeah? Okay, so I'm holding in my hand right now, and that's funny because they're, they're seeing me through your eyes Sorry. on TV. Yeah. No, it's very cool. It's very yeah. cool. Uh, show me. This is the old school way to do it. Explain right. to the audience what so, they're seeing here. When we do a knee replacement, we have to find the angles and the alignment. And so what we do is we have a rod that we use inside the bone, and it works. It's conventional, but it you know it's kind of a little way barbaric, but we put it down the bone to get the alignment and the proper angles. And then we build off of that. So that's the reference point that we build off of. Um, it's invasive, but it gets the job done. It's accurate, but it's not precise. So you can't dial in within a degree or so of angle of uh, preciseness. It's just, it's, it works, but it's not as precise as we want to be. Okay, and so this augmented reality stuff that you are wearing, it, right. it, it offers more precise cuts? Correct. And uh, ideally, then, a, a better recovery time for the patient. Absolutely. So what we can do, instead of that rod, what we have is, you see the blue line shooting down the bone that's the angle of the bone and what we can do is I can dial in so when you say the blue line yeah there you go so that yeah. that, that this is again this, so this is what you are seeing through this camera on your during surgery right and it's being projected onto the patient's bone so that we don't have to put in the rod we don't have to put you know an invasive piece of equipment but more importantly it's more accurate right what are those? What are those numbers that are on the screen right there? They just popped yeah. off. But so, they were on the screen. yeah, I'll show you. So the, it's called varus and valgus. So varus valgus is a side to side angle, right? So I can twist this and, and turn the thing from one side to the other. The other one is called the posterior slope, which is the degree that the actual shin bone slopes back, and is being measured off the patient's anatomy. And so we're able to match that patient's anatomy. So when I get this to zero. Um, if I can get that to zero there with that, right? That tells me that I'm lined up with the patient's anatomy perfectly which, again, is impossible to do with conventional instruments. Let's go back to the camera, because I want, I want the viewers to see what the technology looks like. So you're saying, yeah. and by the way, is this theoretical or you're actually doing this? No, I'm doing this. We've done, we've done about 50 patients already at St. Uh, Trinity Health Oakland and continue. I did two yesterday. We with continue. this? With this. It's During amazing. Surgery. This is amazing. Yeah. So, this, so this is, and just so we can be clear, this is the knee right here. That's the thigh bone. This is the this thigh is bone. This is the shin bone. And the, the shin bone's connected Correct. to the hip bone, yeah. which I know that. Yeah, yeah. The song. exactly. <laughs> but exactly. Th this, this is the technology right there that you put on the on bone. The yeah. yeah. On the patient. Yep, yep, absolutely. It's done pretty much, again, without the rod. It's non-invasive. It's minimally invasive, I should say. It's invasive, obviously, because we have to do a knee replacement. Mm -hmm. But it, in, again, it not only being minimally invasive, but it's a lot more accurate. And I think, you know, if you look at why knees do better, some knees do better than others, patients do better, it has to do a lot with the accuracy, with the way the knee's placed, with the alignment, getting that perfect balance. And that, that's, that's a, a very difficult thing to do in surgery, as you can imagine. Yeah. But this definitely gets you to a point where you can get it, dial in that accuracy, and then check that accuracy. Every knee is different? Absolutely. Yeah, so yeah. that's why, you know, that's why that would offer more of Absolutely. a precise, individualistic approach Correct. to each patient's knee. Correct, yeah, giving them hopefully a much better result than they normally would. And we've seen that. We've seen our patients recover much quicker. How much quicker? So normally knee replacements go pretty quick. And again, we talked about that in the first segment. It's less than an hour surgery. The patients are home within a few hours. But it's that aftercare, right? It's that after recovery. And because yeah. we don't have to drill into the bones like this and there's less bleeding, the patients are within a couple of weeks are really recovering pretty quickly, I'm independent pretty much. Whereas a total knee replacement, the, the kind of the old school way, or I guess yeah. you would say the mainstream way, yeah. it, it was six weeks, eight weeks recovery? Yeah, it could be easily, okay. yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. And some patients still, right? But, and again, there's that initial recovery and then there's that longevity, right? So implants need to last 25, 30 years. And, and a lot of that is determined by how accurate those implants are placed. Is this, is this the future of surgery? Is what, oh yeah, for sure, absolutely. What, I, I, I don't wanna put you on the spot here, but what can you see this type of technology being used for outside of just total knee replacement? Um, it's already being used in spine. So they actually get an image of the patient's spine. They're able to project that image onto the patient's bone. And again, remember, this is all just being projected, right? So it's less invasive. You're not having to drill into the bone. You don't have to dig in there to find out what's there. It's all being projected onto the bone. So it's already being used in spine. It's already being used in trauma. And this is just the beginning. There's some shoulder stuff that's coming out from the same company. This is a company out of France that's doing this, and they're able to again show you that anatomy 
through the glasses without having to get into the patient. How, how, many, how many hospitals have this technology? We're the first and only in Michigan, Trinity Health Oakland, right? How, how, many, how many surgeons do that? How many surgeons in, in, in the, the state in the, do it? There yeah. are only about five sets in, this, in the United States. At in this the point. whole United in States? In the whole United States. Some of the bigger centers have them. Um, there's a set, that I believe in New York, I don't want to name the names, but it's in New York, some of the other centers. But we were the first. I got on this pretty early. This, just, this is FDA approved. It got FDA approved about two years ago. We started using it early, uh, about maybe eight months ago. And then again, Trinity Health Oakland is, is ahead of its time, I think, and actually kind of invested the, the resources and the money to, to bring this equipment to St. Joe's. And we're seeing the results already. Absolutely. It's amazing. Uh, that's so cool. Doctor, thank you so much for being hey, here Derek, and, and showing us all this uh, today. Uh, if people want to learn more about it, what do they Google? So they can look up uh, Trinity Health Oakland, okay. Total Knee, my name's Safa Kassab, and it's called Augmented Reality, Total Knee Arthroplasty. Okay. Sounds great. Thank, thank you. you. Oh, man, how cool.